Do you know supports have major impact on single bay frames subjected to point loads? It can affect deflection, it can affect bending moment diagram and also direction of reactions. In today's tutorial, I will give you four examples and show you how supports are important and what will they do to reactions, bending moment diagram and deflected shapes. This is part of the Institution of Structural Engineers London iStructi Structural Behavior Certificate course and this is the second uh, question and I'm going to be carrying out the qualitative structural analysis of single bay frames in this tutorial. This is the question which I'm going to be partly solving in this tutorial. What is the correct bending moment diagram for this frame? Note here that we have a fixed support on the left side and we have a vertical roller support on the right side and you have to choose the correct answer. There are four options here. Majority of people on my YouTube community, they think that option B is right. And I've posted this question already. I strongly suggest that you take this quiz before watching this presentation by simply scanning this slide or going to this URL. I will be solving this question in three parts. What is the deflected shape of frames? What is the bending moment diagram? And what is the direction of reaction? And the key to all this is if you know deflected shape, then you can pretty much plot anything. You can plot shear force diagram, you can plot bending moment diagram, axial force diagram, whatever you like. So that is termed as qualitative analysis, which means without performing any calculations to find out structural behavior. These are the four cases which I will consider. A central point load is applied to all these frames, but there is a change in supports. For the first case, we have a pin support on left side and horizontal roller on the right side. For the next one, this is a fixed support. This is not a pin on right side. I have a pin support and for the third case I have a fixed support on left and I have a horizontal roller on the right. For the fourth case I have fixed support on left and I have a vertical roller on right which is the main question that I'll be dealing with to find out its bending moment diagram. You will see that what difference these support conditions will make not only to deflected shape but to bending moment diagram as well. So for the first one this is going to deflect like this from here to here it will be a straight line and from here to here to here it will go out not inwards go outwards and for the second case we have a fixed support here on left side uh, by following the uh, joint conditions there will be no rotation at fixed support and if you want to know these golden rules please click on this side of the screen uh, to find out more in my first tutorial on structural behavior you will have a zero deflection here and then it will go like this and then again it will deflect and from here this will maintain a 90 degree angle here and from here it will come down at right support because there is a pin support here so that's the reason you will have a theta angle and here uh, it's a fixed support so because of fixed support you will not have any rotation on the left side in this second case this will help me to draw its bending moment diagram as well and for the third case the downward load is going to cause uh, deflection and because we have fixity here the frame is going to move in this direction then you will have a deflection in the beam it will go on the right side because we have a, a roller for the fourth case you can see we have a vertical roller at this point when we apply a vertical load over here what will happen is that it will push this thing 
down so from here you will have straight deflection then it will push this down here and here it will come all the way down here now for compatibility of joints the angle is always 90 in here and now I will show you a very interesting animation for all of these now let us see the first uh, animation now observe that the roller support is causing it to move in rightward uh, direction and observe one more thing here is that the bending is only happening in top beam now remember this when it is happening only in top beam this means that it will only have bending moment diagram in the beam in columns because they are not bending there will not be any bending moment now let's play the second one you can see that we have bending in beam we have bending in column bending in right column is only one side bending bending in left column it's having bending here and then it is having bending at the other side as well so that's why the bending moment diagram is going to switch sides for the third one you can see bending is happening in the left a column bending is not happening in the right column and bending is happening in the beam so the diagram is going to follow the same sequence the final one is really very interesting now here you will see because we have a vertical roller it is causing it to move downwards I will play it again now let us see how we can use this information to draw the bending moment diagram for the first case you will see that we have applied loading here so bending moment diagram will only be in the beam so let us see what we have you see that we have bending moment diagram in beam only columns are not bending at all and that's why we will not have any bending in columns this is very crucial when we are designing structures we have to see that which members are taking which forces how about the second case a second case is very crucial here you can see beam is bending when beam is bending exactly under a point load you will have sagging bending moment and you will have hogging bending moment as well hogging means tension at top compression at bottom so when you have these kind of bending moment for compatibility of joints these two moments they should be equal and this is bending in one direction only so that's the reason I will connect it with the straight line and remember one golden rule if you have only point loads applied the bending moment diagram is going to be a straight line and how about this one you can see that this is a curved portion of deflected shape and in this direction it is going into this direction and this is trying to take it into this direction so uh, the bending reaction is going to be anti-clockwise uh, here the diagram will look like this and the reactions will be top and bottom and here reactions will be horizontal and vertical and reactions again here will be vertical and horizontal and only vertical at this point now moment is due to this portion moment is anti-clockwise now you can see that this is the bending moment diagram and due to anti-clockwise moment we simply have the diagram moving towards right on the other hand here you can see bending in the column is only following one direction it means that and there will be no bending moment on the right side column so no bending moment on right side column because it is moving uh, rightwards and there will be sagging bending moment here at the center and you have hogging moment here and again you have hogging moment here as well and the reactions will be vertical horizontal and here the reaction moment is clockwise not anti-clockwise earlier in this case we had anti-clockwise but now we have a clockwise moment and then again a reaction 
here will only be a vertical reaction and you can see that because we have a single uh, curvature in deflected shape so that's why bending moment diagram in column is only having one shape it is not changing the direction bending moment diagram for the final case it's going to be really very interesting when you apply loading over here it is going to bring the column down because this is continuously going down so for compatibility of joints you will have diagram over here and then for compatibility of joints you will have diagram inside so let us see and here for compatibility of joints you will have moment like this but at the fixed support you can see that it is taking quite a lot of bending moment let me sum it up for the first case the bending is happening only in beam so we'll have this bending moment diagram for the second case bending is happening in both columns and beams we will have this bending moment diagram for third case uh, bending is happening in left side column and and beam so you will see the bending moment diagram like this for the fourth case you will have bending moment diagram like this now here what are the design implication especially for fourth case you really have to design left column which is taking this huge bending moment and support has to be designed in such a way that it can take this much huge uh, bending moment just by changing supports a lot of bending is developing in members for the first case you can see it's really very simple only beam is taking moment when we are changing supports then it has huge influence on not only deflections but uh, bending moment and shear force and axial force the diagrams as well and it changes the direction of reactions as well that's it for today's presentation and i will see you in my next lecture thank you